Bountiful Harvest in the Month of December, a tour of the California Garden, some gardening tips and advice, our seed packet giveaway winner, all this and a lot more in today's episode of California Gardening. So let's begin with the harvest we made this month. Apples. We were growing our N shimmer apples and it yielded one apple, beautiful looking apple and very delicious. Broccoli. We were growing broccoli both in containers as well as in raised beds and this is the harvest from the container. This is the harvest from the raised bed. And as you can see the broccoli crowns have grown quite well and they will continue to produce side shoots. So after harvesting the main crown or the main head, we will let these plants grow and produce some side shoots which we will harvest through rest of the season. But you can see the broccoli heads here, very nice looking broccoli heads, very fresh, very nice and delicious. One of my favorite vegetables to grow is broccoli. Cabbage Cabbage is one plant that grows very well in the cooler months. And you can see here the cabbage heads have formed quite well here. And these are the ones on our raised beds. Most of the cabbages that we grow are on our raised beds just because they have a lot of space to grow these large heads on the raised beds. And you can see the heads, they look beautiful. And we had several cabbages growing. We harvested a lot of cabbages throughout this season. And here you can see one more cabbage, big cabbage head. And these were started from transplants, not seeds. So it gave us a head start to growing cabbage this season which is why we have these plants producing in December. So cabbages, cauliflower, broccoli, all these plants grow very well during the cooler months. And these are some of the plants that I highly recommend that you grow in your garden through fall and winter to get these really nice looking beautiful vegetables. Now remember that cabbages need a lot of nutrients to grow well, a lot of compost, a lot of organic matter. And once you do that, you will get really good quality cabbages from your garden. We did harvest quite a lot of cabbages this season. Cauliflower. We had cauliflowers again growing both in containers and raised beds. This harvest is from a container growing next to our fruit trees. And we also had some harvests from the raised beds. Now again, the plant grows a lot larger in raised beds just because it has more space to grow and you can see beautiful looking cauliflower head and here's one more after removing the leaves beautiful looking cauliflower head and very crisp fresh and delicious and we harvested several more as you can see all of these cauliflower heads are quite large quite nice and i just love growing cauliflowers just because they are so fresh when harvested from the garden and here you can see our harvest, beautiful looking cauliflower. Eggplants. Now while it's rare to see eggplants in December, we did have one large eggplant. This is the black moon eggplant that we had overwintered from the last season. And you can see here, this is a large eggplant that we were able to put to good use. Guavas. Our tropical white guava plant was full of fruits and we harvested a lot of guavas from this plant in December as well. Now in December the fruit is ripe and this is as ripe as the fruit gets. It's still quite hard and quite crunchy, not too sweet like the Arabian guava or the red guavas, but this has a very nice semi-sweet taste. It's a little hard. The seeds are soft though. And you can look at the harvest. We got a lot of guavas from just one tree. And the plant was so much loaded with fruits that it was completely bent over. But you can see how many fruits we have on the tree. And it's no surprise that the plant could not take the load of all these fruits. And we still have some fruits left, which we will harvest in the month of January. But we were coming back and harvesting fruits from this guava tree quite a lot of times during the month of December. And you can look at our harvest here, quite a lot of guavas, very crunchy and delicious. 
hyacinth beans. Now, as you've all seen, the hyacinth bean plant had grown quite large. In fact, it had taken over the entire wall, and we harvested a lot of hyacinth beans from this plant. It's in a nice sunny area, as you can see, which is very important for it to produce some good quality hyacinth beans. And the plant did produce quite a lot. You can see here, this was our first harvest in the month of December. And this was a lot of hyacinth beans. And what we did is we trimmed the whole plant down to about 2 feet or so. Once the season was over. And due to this, we also got a huge harvest as you can see. After we trimmed down the plant. And this plant will grow back into a fully grown plant very soon. Meyer lemons. We had a lot of Meyer lemons growing in our Meyer lemon tree in the ground. And this is a semi dwarf tree, which means it's a really small plant, but still produces a lot of lemons, as you can see. Now, once again, the Meyer lemon has a very unique flavor. It's a very mild lemon variety that can be used in a lot of dishes. You can use it for making lemonade, as well as use it in cocktails. So, a lot of uses for Meyer lemon. Pineapple. Our pineapple plant was growing in a container and we harvested one more pineapple as you can see. We just touched the pineapple and it came off the plant which means it's extremely ripe and it ripened on the plant which is the best way to ripen a pineapple. And you can see our pineapple here, beautiful looking pineapple and homegrown pineapples are very sweet and delicious and unlike the ones you get from the grocery stores. The ones you get in the grocery stores are ripened artificially off the shelf, but not the homegrown pineapples. They are absolutely delicious. Pomegranates. The Ariana pomegranate was producing some fruits. Now we have this pomegranate tree growing in a container. And you can see once the fruit ripens, it actually opens up like this. And this is when the fruits are the sweetest. Now the ones you buy in the grocery store cannot be sold like this. So this is a big advantage of growing pomegranates at home. Is you can actually wait till the pomegranate is completely ripe like this and then harvest the fruits. And this kind of pomegranate is extremely sweet unlike anything you've tasted from the grocery store. Radish. We had multiple varieties of radish growing. This is the golden minnowaze radish, one of my favorites to grow in the garden. And some more minnowaze radish here, which were growing in a container next to the fruit trees. And you can see quite nice looking radishes. This one was growing in the ground. And you can see the minnowaze radish is one of my favorite radish varieties because it not only produces big sized radishes, but is also very pungent and very delicious. We also had some black Spanish radish growing, which we harvested. And some more minnowaze radish from our raised beds. And as you can see, some of the radishes in the raised beds were quite large. But when you're growing radishes at home, be prepared to have radishes of varied sizes. Some will be large, some will be small. And that's just how your radishes will be. But you can see our harvest here. Beautiful looking radishes, crunchy and delicious. Swiss chard. Our Swiss chard plant was growing in an elevated raised bed. As you can see, this is a self watering raised bed that we've had on the side of our garden for quite some time now. And both of our Swiss chard plants are growing in this elevated raised bed. Now, the Swiss chard plant is unique in the sense that it will keep giving you Swiss chard leaves almost throughout the year here in Southern California. The leaves are very nice, eaten raw or cooked. And you can look at the leaves here, beautiful looking Swiss chard leaves. So it's a good replacement for spinach, giving you year round harvest. Tomatoes. Our most productive tomato was the San Marzano tomato that was growing in a container. And we harvested tomatoes from this plant almost throughout the month of December. And I was a little surprised to see so many tomatoes on this plant even in December. Now I usually recommend growing the Juliet tomato 
for off-season harvest like in December and January. But even the San Marzano tomato is quite a productive variety for the month of December and January. Now remember that this is a mature plant, so it was growing for quite some time. So if you want harvest in the winter months, do make sure that you plant your tomato plant well in advance. And here are some more tomatoes that we harvested from the raised bed. This is a bush type tomato plant that is compact, it's determinate and it did yield a lot of tomatoes as you can see here. But all in all, we got a lot of tomatoes in December, something I was not expecting due to the cooler weather in December. And some of these tomatoes will ripen off the vine. And some of these are completely red, but some of them do have a slight red tinge. And these are the ones that will ripen off the vine and on the shelf. So you can see here beautiful looking tomatoes. And now let's take a tour of the garden. Beginning with the raised beds. In the first raised bed we have a lot of onions. These onions were grown from sets. We also have some beans. These are bush beans. And some of these are ready for harvest. We also have some pole beans on the other side of the bed on the trellis. These are some tomato plants. These are determinate tomato plants that we grew. And as you can see, they are slowing down now due to the weather. But still produced a lot of tomatoes. In the next raised bed, we have some more tomatoes. These are again determinate tomatoes growing along the trellis. And are producing some tomatoes now. But again, slowing down because of the cooler weather in December. But the plants are still growing quite well. Now as you can see, we added a netting to this raised bed with some hoops. And we have a lot of brassicas growing in this raised bed. Cabbages, cauliflowers, broccoli. All of them growing in this raised bed which is quite well protected from insects and other critters. We also have some radish on the corner. There are multiple varieties of radish growing here and all of them seem to be growing quite well. In the next raised bed, we harvested a lot of cauliflowers and cabbages as you can see. It's almost empty now with the exception of these two red acre cabbages that are growing well. But we did harvest all the cauliflowers and cabbages from this raised bed. And it's now time to prepare this for the next season. Maybe plant some more plants here. In the next raised bed we have broccoli. As you saw we harvested some broccoli from this raised bed. Followed by some beets on the side. And once again this bed is quite empty. So we will be planting some more into this raised bed. We have our eggplants though, the black moon eggplant producing a few eggplants as you can see which is quite a bonus for the month of December. And we have some kale. Our kale that we planted last month has grown quite well and is now ready for harvest. And in the final raised bed we have more red acre cabbages. Quite a lot of them actually growing together. And in the center we have some spinach that we sowed. We have some onions. These are the green bunching onions. And on the back we have our ivy gourd plant that is now growing very slow due to the winter season. And that completes the tour of our raised beds. Let's now move on to the containers. In the first container we have broccoli, a couple of broccoli plants. One of them is yielding a nice head. Followed by carrots. These are the atomic red carrots. Followed by our Surajmukhi pepper plant. Which is not producing at all now due to the weather. And we have some more carrots here in this container. Followed by some radish. These are the Minoways radish that's growing in the container. We have a bush Roma plant. This is a tomato plant 
and it has not produced any tomatoes so far. We have taro root. These taro root plants have now established quite well in this container. Followed by lettuce, which we harvested this month as well. And some onions, these are the big bulbing onions that we planted from sets. And we also have this medicinal plant that we've discussed a few times. We have mint growing in the corner, followed by our turmeric plant. And right next to that, you can see the guava plant that is quite loaded with guavas. Here's one more as we see it, we're harvesting this one. And our mustard spinach plant, which has been quite nice to harvest and use for this month. We have our San Marzano tomato plant, which was quite productive this month. Followed by our bunching onions, the green bunching onions. And we also have some more radish growing here in this container. Followed by our overwintered eggplants. These are the black moon eggplants, which we overwintered from the last season. They're growing okay, not that great. Followed by hyacinth beans, which we just sowed. And we have spinach and peas in this container. Followed by some more determinate bush glacier tomato plants that are now yielding some tomatoes. On the other side, we have our ivy gourd plant. As you can see, it doesn't have any leaves now due to the cooler weather. Followed by our pigeon pea plant, which is growing okay, but you can see the effect of the winter season on its leaves. And finally, we have our longevity spinach plant, which is doing okay in the winter season. In our green stock planter, we have a lot of onions growing. Now, I've shown you how I planted all these onions 30 onions from sets in this green stock planter. And I'm really looking forward to how these grow. And that completes the tour of our containers. And now we are announcing our seed packet giveaway winner. We had announced a contest in our last episode where we wanted to know what kind of fruit trees you grow. And our winner is listed on your screen here. And if you are the winner, please contact me and I will have your seed packet sent to you. So there we have it folks. That was our California gardening episode for the month of December. I wish you all a very happy new year and happy holidays. And we'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.